So left to its own devices, the insurance industry could be a tremendously positive force for rational planning. They're in the risk calculation business. Um, but we have a perverse system now where the, the National Federal Flood Insurance Program, uh, as adopted by, as enacted by Congress, is essentially subsidizing risky behavior. Hmm. It's giving people uh, the ability to uh, build and stay in areas that we know are risky. Uh, we know even under uh, outdated flood maps that don't consider climate change. When we do consider uh, uh, climate change, we see it's even riskier. Um, uh, in uh, 2012, uh, Congress amended the flood insurance uh, statute to try to remove some of that irrationality, to try to have more of the rates uh, uh, be close to what the, uh, what the actuarial risk was. Uh, a year later, when lo and behold, it, was, it looked like it was actually going to have that effect of leading to rising flood insurance rates, Congress repealed it, hmm. and the president signed it. So one of the only climate positive things this Congress uh, has done uh, was, was undone because people uh, couldn't uh, bear increased flood insurance rates. So someday that'll, that'll uh, turn back. Someday, uh, you know, the Federal Emergency Management Agency is working on uh, methodologies for how to consider sea level rise in flood mapping. And so I think that will come back. But, but right now, the, the portion of the insurance industry that is under the federal thumb in that respect is not doing its job. And hopefully, um, uh, Congress one of these days will change its mind.